Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that the difference between the RHEL 7 and RHEL 8. So what's the difference? So what is evolved in RHEL 8? Let's see the difference. So basic difference between this and uh, some technical uh, related uh, differentiation here. So this is the most uh, interview question uh, is asked in the most of the interviews nowadays. So let's see here. So if I can compare this um, RHEL 7 versus RHEL 8. So the RHEL 8, if you can take the file system, it's a default file system XFS and RHEL as so has XFS. But what is changed in XFS or the XFS file system? So in RHEL 8, basically the XFS file system size is increased by 100% like before it was 500 terabytes would be a maximum XFS file system would support on the RHEL 7 but in the maximum file system size you can go to the 1 petabyte on the RHEL 8 so with the same XFS file system and in RHEL 8 the kernel version is 4.18.0.x and in RHEL 7 3.10.0.x so you can also see this uh, there is a lot of improvements on the kernel level like so the services level so the improvement on the performance all of this stuff so you can just verify those kernel versions so what is the release management so you can see that what is changed in it and uh, the RGL8 is the kernel code name is uh, UTA and RGL7 is MIPO and in RHEL 8 they have completely differentiated the repositories for installing the application are required for the base OS which means that the all the applications is went into the upstreams repository and the base OS is for the basics requirement for the operating system packages in RHEL 7 it's not like that it's entire the RHEL 7 server M repository which is directly included with the apps and the base OS packages in time synchronization so basically RHEL 8 is not supporting the NT NTP so which is completely uh, using the cron D service to synchronize the NT uh, time synchronization with the NTP servers and RHEL 7 has NTP and Chrome D as a support, but uh, most of the times uh, NTP is used in a previous uh, operating systems. So the package management here in RHEL 8, the M version is 4, or the it is also introduced that the DNF package management, and in RHEL 7 the M version is 3. And the display, so the display is completely changed from XR to Wayland so the display in the genome so it completely a Wayland is the display name so where it is gives a much higher resolution for the graphics and all this stuff so you can uh, uh, see compare that uh, 
resolution as well so if you jump into the next uh, scenario so the next difference here you can see that so this is the next difference so in the future if you can see that the default network packet filtering system which means the the firewall system is in rhl7 was ip tables or arp tables all this was uh, there but in rhl8 it's completely modified completely modified and you can see that there is a uh, much improved in the firewall rules like you can write the rules on the firewall d using the firewall cmd commands or the firewall d dom one with the graphical uh, firewall config uh, management and uh, default databases so basically rgl8 is improved with the mariadb 10 and mysql postgres sql and redis but in rgl7 mysql and mariadb only the options we have on rgl7 to install but those are not the latest versions though they have a one or two versions back in the rgl7 and uh, virtual main virtual machines management system so the defaultly you can manage uh, this uh, from the cockpit web console and uh, virtual manager from the kvm so but in rgl7 we do not have any uh, we have a cockpit but not that improved version so we have a virtual manager for that kvm and nf users and group so which is completely merged into the the nobody user id is 6,565,534 6, um, uh, id and in rchl7 the nobody user and group id was 99 but it's in a overflow of the ids like in the rchl7 like 65,534 is the last number on the overflow uh, but a virtual control systems like the version control systems uh, available in the rcl8 is uh, git 2.18 mercurial 4.8 and subversion so but in rcl7 the most popular open source um, uh, rcs systems uh, here is git svn cvs but in nfs configuration so there is a file configuration changes in uh, rgl8 so which is slash etc slash nfs dot configuration file in uh, rgl7 slash etc slash sysconfig slash nfs default whenever you upgrade from rgl7.6 to rgl8 this conf this configuration file by default be imported into the slash etc slash nfs dot configuration file and nfs over udp is no longer supported which is deprecated in a rhl so rhl 8 version and hardware architecture so it most of the a wide variety of the platforms which will support on the amd intel arm ibm power systems and ibm jet systems so this is what the overall difference between the rhl 8 and the rhl 7 so there are multiple differences are there in the background but uh, there are a few differences here and uh, if you go with the uh, like uh, the container services the container services in rhl 8 is not the docker it's completely a portman build and scopio but in rcl7 docker and docker registry is the main features which is introduced for container services management so there are lot of differences are there if you comparatively a configurations and versions on the rpm packages were improved all of these stuffs but these are the major differences between the rhl7 and rhl8 so you can remember few of them then you can answer in the interview questions uh, that's about it guys thanks for watching don't remember to uh, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notifications please subscribe to the channel